He sees into your soul. N not yours, the, the two sitting next to you. I just made people look beside them. <laughs> uh, hey everybody, I'm the Crimson Cyber. Welcome back to more Let's Play Monster Stories to Wings of Ruin in the last episode. We defeated a Durambros while searching for the missing children from the village. In this episode, we are going back to the village and, well, making sure that those children make a safe journey back. So. Well, for these Kurpekos. And yeah, not much else to do today. Well, I'll just have to see what the uh, the village uh, chief or elder says and see what they, or if there's anything else that's going on, because God forbid, so many monsters. So many monsters, so little time. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> but, you know. Head on back to Ruto Village and let's report back. Um, before I do that, I want to check. There are some new quests. We have a co-op call for Yangaruga. We just, just need to hunt one of those. Um, a Durambaros. Alcala Commodities. Three Kurapekos. There's two of them literally by the exit of where we just went. That's about it. Just thought I'd accept those right now, so that way we can, uh, you know, get our hands on better stuff. Oh, there's a quest here. Uh, it's as if a young Red is standing here before me. When I first met Red, he was wearing, shall we say, an interesting outfit. It's but an old man's request, but I'd be happy to see you wear the same outfit. First time I met Red, he was wearing a unique getup. Boldrome armor. If I recall correctly, would you be so kind as to equip some and show me for old time's sake? We need to show him some Boldrome armor. We'll do that later. I'm glad to see the children return safely. You have our gratitude. Nyaha! We eat jobs like this for breakfast! You've learned the right of channeling, and proven yourself an ally to our village. I believe you can face the Nargakuga. The Nargakuga? You're sending us on another quest already? Ugh, you really know how to work your riders. Hmm. That's quite enough. There's no need to get snippy with Zellert. Snippy? Us? Why I oughta? <laughs> My apologies, Sellard. We'll set out at once. Fine. Just have a ton of donuts waiting for us when we get back, okay? Unbelievable. <laughs> hey, Alwyn, show us where the Nagakuga hangs out. Likely to be in West Atule Forest. Let's go. Stranger in Black. Returning the children to safety, you discover the identity of the monster responsible for scaring them. You take on a request to hunt down the mighty Nagakuga and leave the village. Naviru! Uh, I've said it before, I do not like Naviru. Part of the reason why is that he just acts so impulsive all the time and acts so arrogant. But that was just... Like... Imagine how the hunters feel, Naviru. Like, we're riders. Okay, we don't have as serious, you know, requests as the hunters get. Imagine what they have to deal with 
The amount of quests that build up. But, um, that is not where the uh, Melanx Inc. is. I want to see if there's anything new with the Melanx Inc., which will allow me to, you know, determine if I want to get more bottle caps, but... Uh... It doesn't look like it. Okay. What I'm going to do... Obviously, we have that Nagakuga we can beat. However, there is something I do also want to do at the stables. As you recall, obviously, we just recently beat the Iangaruga. And when you know it, on my travels, I picked up a burning wife and egg. And if we hatch it, it is an Iangaruga. A monster that I am actually kind of happy to have at the moment. Because uh, Iangaruga is pretty good. Poison Tail, Anti Venom, Inflict. Right up. Oh, that's really good for not uh not not good for um Young Garuga. Okay. And there's also a uh another Baserios egg that we got. Yeah. This was also a very unique uh egg as well, so that's still Ooh, okay, that's a bingo bonus up there with a strength bonus, or power bonus, should I say. Um, heat resist, anti-burn, rock shield, health boost, and critical M. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, yeah, I would like to go over Yangaruga a little bit real quick. Yangaruga is pretty good, in fact. Having equal stats in its, uh, well attack and defense is pretty good and having somewhat good max hp pretty good speed and really good hit uh, crit rate recovery is not the best but honestly that's not terrible however the only thing that makes it really good that's locked away is fly like i mentioned with paolumu you cannot fly until the late game or until the mid section of the game but that won't be for a while now. I wish this was not the case, but I can understand why they chose to do this because of a certain other thing. <laughs> yeah, it's... Yangaruga is okay in its stat department, but for writing actions, useless. Alright. I go to the party, how... Be honest... Was, uh, younger. It only has fly. Ah, this is a problem. I don't know if I really want to keep Ramma anymore. Ramma's really only good for jumping and... Realistically speaking, there is a jumping monster in the speed category that I really want to get later on. Uh, which will be coming up not in in the future, not like too too distant, but also not too like foreseeable. Um but I think Grandma has done enough for us at the moment, and I think Yangaruga is just for for what it's worth, I think Grandma is going to be boxed for now. And with that being said, I'd also like to go to the uh, Smithy. So that way we can bake. Uh, bake. We're gonna bake some bread. <laughs> no, we're gonna uh, get some Baldrum armor. We go to the Forge Armor. Bulldrome. Bulldrome. That's a problem. <laughs> I'll be right back when I have the right materials. Last time here back in, uh, well, Mahana. Uh, well, Island, I guess. I, that's what I'm going to call it. We 
take on this bulldrome right now. Obviously, this is what we need to take on to get the bulldrome armor. We have an option to use quick finish. This is essentially us saying, hey, we're going to beat this thing literally right now. It's a quick, uh, it's a quick kill, essentially. Bulldrome stuff. And whilst we're also here, I may as well go into the ocean. Because there are some items that have been locked to us via the uh, ocean. Hop on in. Can't get to this uh, tower or like this large thing of rock because we're not... Uh, able to use a certain riding action. Wonder which one that is. Over here, like this chest, we've got a defense nutrient, some bones. There's a chest over there, which is a blue chest, which is actually really cool. I've got some more uh, legacy. We got Hounding M. I don't know what that does. Hounding. Salt and Wound M. Increases damage done to enemies with abnormal statuses by a good amount. That could be good if we're using uh, Young Garuga quite a bit, which we probably will be. Ah, let's have a look and see what else is there. Anything else in the ocean? That we haven't met. There's still that little bit of land here that we haven't gotten to. This is not going to be accessible for a long time. I did mention this beforehand, so do keep that in mind that there's still going to be a chance that you're not going to be able to get a certain to a certain area or areas in the game, considering that they are going to be locked via um, riding actions. Anyway, speaking of, we're gonna uh, surf our way over. I'm not sure if there is. Well, bit of area is just a bit, you know, obscure because I thought I thought there was something here hidden or something. So no harm in trying. Anyways, I think with that, let's head back to Ruto Village. I have come back with all drone uh, stuff. Well, I talk to you, please. Thank you. Forge armor. Bulldrome hide. Let me equip that. Let's just equip it for now. Don't worry, I will not be wearing this for long. Yeah, here we go. Good to see you again. That outfit is great on you. Let me take a good look. And we have gone to level 8 of Young Garuga and Alwyn's level 15. And Young Garuga learned Blaze Ball. Awesome. And we got a new uh, skill for Hammer, so that's good. Now let's go to our equipment. And re equip the Tetucabra armor. Oh. I remember, what, uh, I remembered some more about Red. In addition to his odd equipment, he also had a strange weapon. It's but an old man's request, but I'd be happy to see you equip the same item. We need to make a peculiar hammer made from Young Garuga material. This one's a little bit more better than the last one because that way we can actually grab a weapon made of Young Garuga materials. So, let's see what we need for that. Uh, need... Hammer. Just give, uh... That. Uh, 
and let's just uh, equip. Thank you. In our main slot, so that I'm not, uh, now that we have a Yangaruga head on our back. <laughs> uh, this is it, all right. Good to see you again. That outfit is great on you. Let me take a look. Good luck. You wanted to see a hammer, not a, not an outfit. Okay. Get some bottle caps, which are going to be useful. Appreciate, I appreciate you doing this. It may not seem like much, but it really brings back memories of happier times. And she doesn't have another quest for us. Uh, if I check the... Okay. The Raven Torrent isn't as good as the... Uh, Warhammer. So let's equip the uh, Sentaku Reaver. Uh, okay, let's see what other quests we have available. Got the Camouflage Expert. The Yangaruga, which we can do. I'll probably do it off screen, say with the Drambros. I'll color our commodities, three Curap Echoes, and Critical Hits. I'm going to do those off screen and then I'll be right back. Okay, whilst I was doing quests off screen, I actually ran into this thing. I uh, was not aware that it was here. It was just out in the open. Um, so it wasn't even in like a den or anything like that. And Ludroff, you're going for a heat attack, which should not be. Okay. Um. Crap, I don't even know. Um, um, I guess blast by a chaser, I guess. I go a uh, times two speed on the um on the battle here because this could. Yeah. Let's beat up some stuff. Okay. Doing decent damage. This thing is going to be tough. I know that for a fact. Moon Salt Splash. Keep up this pace. Okay. Ouch. Things doing some pretty decent damage. I oh god, okay. Go back to time one speed. Mad, so now it's going to power. Let's swap into Naga Kuga. I'm too much with her. Uh... Oh, God. So, Oops, speed. Our shot, nice. Oh, I don't even know, like, if I'm going to be able to beat this. I don't know the the well double attacks. I'm not gonna go. Oh, should I go for my kinship skill? Oh. 
I'm going to go. No, I do not want to go for that. Trying to skip it as fast as I can because I don't want this fight to take up the entire. I want to take up the entire episode. It'll probably take up some of it. Uh, it's been full uh, technical, so now we want to go back to Royal Ludra. Go for power. How have you survived that, Chul? How? Okay, let's. Interesting. Let's go for oh. a spinning meteor. Skip this. No. Oh. Catch your water. Breath Blast! We'll take the control stick. And yeah. <laughs> That's about it. Um... Really do much else. The power again. The black tail. Hail is not weak to hammer attacks, okay. Good to know. Very good to know, actually. That's very, very good. It's mad. I'm gonna go for my uh, kinship skill. Doing some decent damage. And the tail is broken. We want to swap into Nagakuga for this. Now let's go for power attacks. So that way we can do some double, uh, well, double attack. Okay, 332. Seven. I don't know how much HP this thing has. I know it's got a lot of HP. That Paolo we fought the um, the Flying Fury that we fought like a few episodes ago. That had like six thousand uh, HP, which was insane. Spike bomb. Okay. Some decent damage. Ouch. That's the skills. Meet your hammer. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. That's. <laughs> Talking a lot, there's a lot of strain on the voice, on the throat, and that. Yeah. Come on, we can take it down. Inferno gas, oh no. That was a oh my we just we just lost. We just lost. Oh my gosh, that was our first faint in the entire game. We should retreat. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad this was not a Nuzlocke, right? Because Monsanto Stories is so bad. 
when it comes to if it comes to nuzlocke so obviously i if i did a nuzlocke i'd use every monster and if i ran out of a monster like if a monster dies i couldn't use it again so if i picked up an egg of the monster i had already and that was already fainted i have to put it back or I would have to, I would hatch and use it in the right of channeling, so that's how I, I would do it. Well, I think I'm gonna end off there. <laughs> Next time on Let's Play Monster Stories 2 Wings of Ruin, we'll take on the immovable boulder. I'd hopefully win this uh, next time. See you guys then.